Louisiana Beer Reviews, Wilhelm Scream from Magic Hat. Pumpkin Ale. Well, well, well. 5.4% alcohol. There's a pretty good uh, rundown on their website about the beer. 20 international bitterness units, so it's about average for pumpkin beers. Pale Victory Caramel 80L, Caramel 120L are the malts. Um, Apollo and Nugget are the hops. And they use pumpkin, cinnamon, nutmeg, and caramel malts for flavoring. Mm. Gets a good... So I don't understand that caramel thing. It was a little confusing. Alright. Uh, it gets a good score on Beer Advocate. The bros haven't reviewed it. 47 out of 100 on Rape Beer, so not good there. And a 55 out of 100 for the style. I looked at a few video reviews and some people are saying, oh man, it's great. And then other people just despised it. They hated it. So it's sort of, um, I thought this was a twist cap. Sort of up and down. And I like a lot of Magic Hat stuff and then other things they make I don't love too much. So It's part of NAB. Oh yeah, okay. Right, North American Beverages owned by Florida Ice and Farm company of Costa Rica. They also produce the Genesee line of beers. Ooh, a lot of smoke. Dundee, which we get the uh, honey brown lager here from them. That's it. And Pyramid, which we don't get. Never seen it. We get, you know what? No, nah, not really much. Said. We get uh, mostly mad Magic Hat beers from up there, no Genesee beers, and then we get a lot of the contract brews, store brand beers from, for, for like a uh, Whole Foods market. Not much head, thin to medium, off white head here at 7, 10 a.m. It's early, but football today, and I, I just said, well, it's 7 o'clock, I'm ready to do it, let's do it. It looks orange, copper, Pumpkin-esque, I guess. Darker than pumpkin, though, I believe. And more brown than orange. Doesn't look bad. Now, we don't really have a good range for fall beers here as far as weather. Because our summer is still going on, really. It was 91 degrees yesterday, very muggy, almost no breeze. Super humid, you know. Uh, we may maybe, really, we only have 20 true fall or autumn days a year, and then 20 true spring days a year so it's mostly summer and then we have some cold winter days maybe 60 of those a year 70 if you some people laugh at that they say the coldest you got down to was 21 yeah that was really cold last year 21 that's very rare usually maybe once or twice during the winter we'll get down to 28 or 29 so we were in a state of emergency with 21 it was scary but it's so muggy here and humid that in the 40s, if it's down in the 40s or low 50s, it, it does not feel comfortable. You feel wet and cold. <sighs> Off of our climatology, back onto zithology. There's a cinnamon pickup for sure. Vegetative thing, you know, pumpkin, the gourd. Maybe some mild malts, no hot bitterness. It smells like a typical pumpkin beer. It's not overly spiced. My problem with a lot of those pumpkin beers, it was just like a mouthful of spice. I wasn't in love with that. Canadian National Railroad. Um, it's mild mild uh, grain, the malt, a mild pumpkin flavor, and a mild spice flavor. If I had to drink, if I wanted to drink a pumpkin beer, and I wouldn't, but if someone said, you have to drink pumpkin beer tonight, that's all we have. Okay. Maybe I'd go with this one, because it's not overly spiced. 
And I think the nutmeg is what often makes them bad. It's not Pumpkin City. It even has more of a beer flavor than your normal pumpkin beers. It's nothing great, though. The mouthfeel is medium, a little slick. Spice, spice is coming through a little more. Um, the finish is like... medium wet. It's a wet beer. Um, the barley's coming through more in the undertaste. I don't get it, any kind of bitterness. Um, it's hard for me to judge a beer like this because I just don't like the style at all. I like pumpkin pie and all that. I like to eat it, but I'm not so much for drinking it. And maybe if I squirt it, you know, put some uh, uh, whipped cream in here. The caramel is there. I would say it's not really, like, what you say, inferior to other pumpkin beers, even the Imperial pumpkin beers, which I think maybe I like even less. Not that I dislike strong beers. No, it's, I don't know. If you want to try a pumpkin beer, this is one to check out. It's, um, it's, I'll give it a B minus. It's argue, arguably good. For pumpkin beers, it's probably more in the B plus range. Personally, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't want to be unfair to the product, though. I think they probably did a good job with it. Thank you for watching this video production, and y'all come on down to New Orleans.